I'm seeing the way you've been looking at me. What? You think I did it? I don't. You do? I don't! Tracy, leave him alone. Oh, well, don't blame him, actually. I mean, if I was that detective, and it wasn't for Pat Phelan, I would have me in there as the prime suspect. Well, you do it for him. You what? And what about him, eh? I mean, he's no stranger to a prison cell. Yeah, except I was innocent. It was your fiance who killed Tina, not me. Come off it, Peter. You've never been innocent your whole life. Come on, guys, don't fight you. Where are you going now? I want to get some fresh air. Is that okay? Tracy! Is she okay? Yeah, she's fine. I think this whole thing's shaking us all up. Well, let's just hope they get it sorted as quickly as possible, eh? Mm. So, in the meantime, who's going to fix the rest of the kitchen? <laughs> Anybody apart from Pat Phelan. So, tell me, how comes you're so keen to fly back to Canada then? Why are you so keen on keeping us here? Because my dad's lying in a hospital bed. How do you think he's going to feel if he comes round and we've all snuck off? Leaving you to face him on your own. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, Peter, leave it, eh? You want to be careful what you say, Adam. Otherwise, you might get a few more bruises. We have a visitor. Evening. Oh, hey. Sorry to disturb you. I just got back from the cop shop. I thought they'd arrested you. Yeah, well, sorry to disappoint you all. But thanks to a fortunate bit of CCTV, I'm in the clear. Cast iron alibi. Couldn't possibly have pushed Ken down them stairs. Just so you all know, I happen to like Ken. And I hate the idea that someone tried to do him in. Hey, it's a hospital. Hi, yeah. Yeah, speaking. Oh, thanks for telling me. So, looks like Dad's recovering. They're gonna bring him out from under sedation in the morning. <laughs> Good old Ken, eh? Maybe now we'll find out who tried to kill him. <laughs>